Welcome everybody, this is SharePoint Podcasts and Practices webcast and this time we wanted to actually address some of the common questions what we're all the time getting around the SharePoint framework because from SharePoint engineering side we're releasing new versions every now and then and in future maybe in a more frequent, uh, even more frequently so we're looking into aligning to a certain schedule. One of the questions what the community always then has is that okay now that you released a new version, for example, 1.4 version on top of the 1.3 version, what do I actually need to do to make that upgrade happen? Do I go to the package JSON and update the package JSON file, which is, by the way, a wrong answer, um, or do I do something else? So in this webcast, we'll walk through the steps of going through that, um, uh, going through those steps to get upgraded on the latest version. My name is Sosa Yuvonen. I'm a senior program manager from SharePoint Engineering. Uh, and with me today as the main presenter actually is Paolo Pialorsi. Uh, Paolo, will you do the quick intros as well? Yes, thank you, Visa. I'm Paolo. Uh, I'm a senior consultant working in a company of my own called PSC.com. And I'm an MCM and MVP on Office Server and Services, as well as a proud member of PMP. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Paolo. So um, we'll jump into the uh, walkthrough first, uh, the steps in slides, and then we'll have a live demo uh, from 1.3 to 1.4. I think that's and that was actually the demo today. But I'll let actually Paolo to lead uh, the discussion, and I'll jump in and ask questions where needed. Okay. So, yeah. So let's assume that we have a SharePoint framework solution. Can can be a client server part or an extension or whatever else you built using the SharePoint framework. And let's say that now you want to update it to the latest version of the uh, packages that you have. So let's try to see how to do that uh, uh, following the right path, the right pattern. So first of all, uh, you need to find what are the outdated packages that you have uh, in your environment. And luckily, NPM provide us with a uh, command, which is the outdated command, which will uh, let us know what are the outdated packages that we have in our current solution. Uh, from a SharePoint framework perspective, you have to look for the at Microsoft slash SP dash, because all of those packages will be the packages included in the SharePoint framework development. And so you will need to update all of those uh, packages. To update them, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. You simply need to say NPM install, which will be the command from an NPM perspective, you provide the package name at the version that you want to uh, download, that you want to install in your solution, dash dash save uh, to save it uh, uh, locally. Uh, moreover, if you want just to uh, install the latest version, you can just say package name at latest to get the latest and greatest version of the package that you want to install. Actually, Paolo, uh, you said something. Yep. I'm just going to jump there. The dash dash save is for saving that locally to the package JSON, just to be precise. Uh, so that's a save is to make sure that when you have done the, the npm install package name and a version it will be then an entry in the package JSON. so whenever you're checking your code to the visa studio online or git uh, and somebody pulls down the stuff and they do npm install that exactly. package is the in the in the right uh, json format or mentioned to be dependent so exactly okay. yeah sorry sorry <laughs> totally okay uh once you've done that uh, you, you should make a cleanup of your uh, project, so Gulp cleanup and Gulp build uh, to build uh, your solution with the new bit, with the new uh, version of the libraries. Of course, it could happen, and sometimes it happens, that between one version and another version of a package that you are using in your solution, uh, something will be changed, and there will be some breaking changes. So most likely, when you will execute the Gulp build command, uh, you will also have to face some issues, some compilation issues that you will have to fix before being able to release the new and updated version of your project. So uh, keep in mind that there will be uh, some work uh, around uh, the update, uh, and most likely you will have to update some code or some configuration files uh, in order to being able to uh, build uh, again uh, your solution. And depending on how far uh, you are uh, upgrading uh, your solution from, so if you are upgrading your solution from a very early uh, version of SPFX to the latest one, maybe you will have uh, much more uh, compilation issues to fix uh, on the other side 
if you will try to keep your solutions uh, uh, updated as much as you can. And so you will update the packages back to back whenever they uh, get released. Most likely you will have less uh, uh, fixes or less changes to do uh, on a version basis, of course. That said, you also need to keep in mind that when you uh, want to update uh, your solution, maybe you also want to update uh, the Yeoman generator for SharePoint framework, which is yet another uh, thing that you download using uh, NPM. Because the uh, Yeoman generator is uh, usually installed globally in your machine, to uh, figure out what are the outdated packages, including eventually including the uh, generator for SharePoint, you need to use NPM outdated dash G for global or globally. So you will get the list of globally available uh, packages and there will be the Microsoft uh, Generator SharePoint uh, in that list if you install that one globally, of course. To update uh, the Yeoman Generator, the syntax uh, from an NPM perspective is exactly the same as before. So NPM install at Microsoft slash generator dash SharePoint at latest to get the latest version and again dash G to uh, update it at the global level in your machine. You also need to keep in mind that you can always play locally in a local folder with a different version of the Yeoman generator and or of all of the uh, packages that you want to use. And you will simply need, for example, to create local folder, do an NPM install of uh, at Microsoft slash generator dash SharePoint and select any specific version that you want to target. Once you have done that, if you will execute yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint in that specific folder, you will have the version of uh, the Yeoman generator that you installed locally in that folder. And then you are free to run uh, Visual Studio Code or whatever else uh, uh, code editor that you like to use uh, to edit your uh, code. And this is really useful whenever you want to test multiple versions of the SharePoint framework within the same environment, at least in my opinion. Things to keep in mind when you uh, update uh, uh, packages. Well, first of all, uh, that uh, there could be uh, some other dependencies. So, for example, React or Office UI Fabric or uh, any other library that you use. So, it could be that you need not only to uh, update the SharePoint framework uh, uh, libraries, but also uh, some of the dependencies. And the same will happen when you will build the solution after the update. Maybe you will have to fix stuff. Not only and not just related to SPFX, but maybe related to React or Office UI Fabric or new styles from a UI perspective and so on and so forth. Moreover, if you built a solution targeting SharePoint 2016, uh, at the time of this recording, for example, the uh, SharePoint framework for SharePoint 2016 uh, uses a, an older version of uh, the libraries. So you should be really careful updating such kind of solutions because, for example, if you will update uh, a solution for SharePoint 2016 to the latest version of uh, uh, SharePoint framework, there could be some issues in the on-prem his environment. On that one, actually, Paolo, you said at the moment of the recording of the video, SharePoint 2016 is using an older version than in SharePoint Online. The answer is yes, it will always be using an older version than SharePoint Online. <laughs> okay. Because the realities are that we, don't, we can't control your on-premises environment. So whenever we are shipping a, or doing a new update on SharePoint 2016, potentially maybe at some point we'll support a newer version, not just 1.1 version in SharePoint 2016 Feature Pack 2, potentially uh, um, very unlikely. Likely, who knows uh, if that's going to happen? And um, we still, it's going to take months to get that version to be supported in on-premises. So therefore, every um, on this moment forward, the on-premises is always delayed, and it's always later version than what is in SharePoint Online. Absolutely, always. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh Keep in mind that if you are going to update uh, a solution for SharePoint 2016 on-premises, uh, you need to be careful about the target version that Correct. you select. Correct. Otherwise, uh, your solution will, wo will not work anymore. So, yes. Don't do uh, the at latest, basically. Is the yeah, exactly. Sure exactly. Don't do the latest. Yes. Yeah. Double check the release notes and stuff like that. Cool. And last but not least, uh, there is uh, one option, which is the wrong one, by the way. So uh, you could even think about updating the package.json file manually. Just 
just to update the uh, needed versions and then just run npm install through the console. But that's the wrong way of doing uh, uh, because it is way more better to use uh, the proper tools like uh, the npm or the yarn packet manager so that uh, everything will be keep kept in sync in your solution and you, you should avoid manually changing the packages on file just to update uh, specific versions of the libraries that you use. So, uh, that said, I think uh, we are ready to see uh, how to update uh, a solution uh, which has been built using uh, SharePoint Framework 1.3.0 to the latest one, which is 1.4.0 at the time of this recording, again, one more time. So, time for demo. Sounds good. Okay, here we are in Visual Studio Code, and here we have uh, a client-side web part project, which is now using uh, version 1.3.0 of the SharePoint framework. Now, let's assume that we want uh, to update uh, this uh, solution to the latest version of SharePoint framework, at least at the time of this recording, which is nowadays 1.4.1. So, first of all, in order to understand if our solution is uh, up to date, or as any outdated package, we can simply use npm outdated. With this command, you will be able to see what are the packages and the version of your packages compared with the latest versions available on network. And as you can see, here I have a few packages at Microsoft slash something, which are those related to the SharePoint framework. Currently, I have 1.3.4 version, but the latest one on the network is 1.4.1. So, in order to update the packages in my solution, I can simply use the npm install command, providing the name of the package that I want to update and any specific version or latest to say that I want to get the latest one, and minus minus save or dash dash save to store the information in the package JSON file. So, I will execute this command for each and every uh, SharePoint framework package that I have uh, in my solution, and step by step, I will have my solution upgraded or updated to 1.4.1. It takes a while to uh, download all of the packages, so uh, we will not wait for every single package to be downloaded, but uh, just to give you an idea, I will install the second one, and so on and so forth, until we will be able to uh, download and upgrade the dev dependencies too. So now we updated all of the dependencies in the packages and file. As you can see now, we have 1.4.1 version of the three packages. And we now need to update the dev dependencies still uh, in the solution. So uh, in order to update them, still npm install the name of the package, dash dash save dash dev, which will go into the dev dependencies. So uh, let's execute the same command for the three packages that we have in dev dependencies, and then the solution will be fully updated. And here we are. Now we have uh, version 1.4.1 of all of the packages in the packages on file and, of course, in the solution. So we are now ready to do gulp clean, uh, to clean up the solution, and to build again uh, using gulp build uh, uh, the full solution. There could be uh, some issues, some build issues or exceptions, which we will need uh, eventually to fix. Uh, and it really depends on how far you started your upgrade. So if you are upgrading, back-to-back -back one version to the uh, new one, most likely you will have just a few issues. Otherwise, if you are upgrading, for example, from a very old version of the SharePoint framework to the latest one, maybe you will have much more issues to face uh, and to manage. But regardless of the number of issues, for example, here I have three uh, task errors. Uh, I can fix them, for example, this issue uh, right now is related to a flag that we need uh, in the tsconfig json file and uh, we are still uh, investigating uh, why uh, we need to have this option but right now using this uh, uh, skip lib check equal true in the ts uh, um, config json file uh, we can have a fully 
building uh, uh, solution. And once you have done that, uh, you can simply uh, use your solution, deploy your solution on the target environment. And as you can see now, it is uh, properly building, and you can uh, run Gulp server, dash dash uh, no browser, and play with the uh, updated client side web part uh, in the browser, which is uh, what I'm going to do right now using my workbench in my SharePoint Online tenant as soon as it will be ready. And now it is. So let me refresh the workbench. And let me add the sample web part, which is the one uh, I defined in that project. And as you can see, I have my client side web part based on 1.4.1, uh, fully functional and upgraded from version 1.3.0. So uh, that's it. I don't know if you have anything to add, Avesa, about this uh, upgrade process. No, well, not that much. Like you said, uh, it's, it's good to know that depending on a version and across the versions which you're moving, there might be some uh, bits and pieces, and also depending what your code is actually doing, um, which you need to modify within the code. And you can see those in the compilation uh, output. Um, some of them might be relatively cryptic, some of them might be uh, pretty logical, what you need to do. Now, if there's any questions, any doubts on, hey, why do we need to do something, please open up an SP uh, issue in the SP Dev Docs, and we from engineering can actually help in answering why certain things have to happen. So, Or maybe there's a regression, and you're seeing something around, hey, this doesn't make any sense, please let us know, and we'll process that within our official engineering process. But I think that's it, uh, Paula, from demo site. You didn't have anything else to show, right? Exactly. That's it for the demo. Cool. So let's actually flip back on the slides and uh, close up the webcast. Thank you. Cool. And that's that's all we're going to do uh, within this webcast. So create demo, uh, 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 Paolo, on the upgrade steps. Um, and like you saw, it's not actually rocket science. To be fair, uh, this should have been potentially much more detailed documented. But and that's one of the reasons why we actually recorded this webcast, to have it live as a video. So you can always repeat the steps uh, how to make these things happen. Uh, and like you saw, there's some, let's say, changes what you needed to do in the case of 1.3 to 1.4 for on the code base as well. And those are always dependent on the version. And so being a SharePoint engineering side, we try to mention them in the release notes, but it might be that we're missing them. And yes, we need to potentially do a better job on that one in the future. Um, so if you would be upgrading from 1.0 to 1.4, the steps are required for code changes are slightly more significant. So it's not just updating packages and you'll be good to go because they are there might be changes in the code base. Anything else what we're missing, Paula? No, totally agree with your last sentence. So the more you wait to upgrade your packages, the more it will be painful for you, unfortunately, to upgrade. So uh, try to keep your solutions up to date as much as you can. And thank you for watching this video. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Paolo, for a great uh, demo. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And we'll come up with a new webcast sooner or later. Thank you. Mm -hmm.